Hello, it's Lucy again from paperglitterglue.com and I want to show you how to make this adorable little mailbox with a flag. The door opens and in the pattern there's even a pattern for a little letter. It's hard to see but there's a little stamp on it too. So that's how you make the, this is what you use to make the letter. And so all of these are in the pattern and I think it's very fun. So let me go over the pattern pieces for you first. Oh, and the supplies. I use a ruler to help me fold along score lines. Uh, I've got these little tiny brads to help um, for the flag. I use a lightweight glue. This is art glitter glue, which does not have glue in it. And then these are the pieces. These, I used three of these to make the base. Let me show you. Makes a sturdy little base. I glue, glue three together on top of the plain square. And this is to make the, um, the, the door, the opening to the mailbox. This is the main body of the box. This is the post that the mailbox sits on. And these strips kind of add a decorative, sort of decorative and supportive feature of the mailbox, sort of outlining the curve. And then there are some heart patterns if you wanna, you know, add extra hearts to your little house. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna use my ruler and fold along the score lines, the major score lines, the little tabs I don't really worry about. So I hold this here, it makes a nice straight edge and I can get a good fold for the the door, the opening to the mailbox. Get a good fold. Anytime you have a narrow strip that you have a score line on and, and it's hard to fold, be sure you use a straight edge of some kind. Okay, so we've got that one done. This is the post. These little flaps go inside the mailbox and secure the post to the mailbox. And then, and this is the glue flap. It's angled and it's narrower than each of the sides so that it fits inside the post so the glue tab won't show. Do each side. Okay. And now let's do the main body of the mailbox. There's a score line here. Wait, let me see. I think I've got the, yeah, I've got it turned the wrong way. You can see it easier on this side. I did cut mine with a Cricut. You can cut it out by hand. It's not really that difficult a pattern, but for the hearts, what I would do is use a heart punch. I'd get a paper punch rather than worrying about, you know, trying to cut out a, the inlay of a heart. So... I do just use a heart punch and then glue a, a heart, a contrasting color of a heart on top. Okay, so I think those are the main ones. So I always fold them back and forth so I know that they are, that they'll form like a 90 degree angle like I want them to. And the little tabs are easy. You just kind of, they're so small, they're easy to fold without using a ruler. Okay, so those little tabs, and I like it to go actually in this direction. I don't know, I'm left-handed, so I always like the door over here, and that's the way my, my mailbox is, but you can do either side. So I'm gonna fold these inward. And now, for the main body of the mailbox, you want this to be curved. So how do you get this flat piece to be curved? And basically what I do is I kind of gently curve it, try not to form you know, a, a distinct line, but just kind of gently curve the paper. And let's see how it works. Okay, it's pretty good. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and glue the main body of the mailbox together. So I'm gonna apply glue to the underside of this. 
and match it up here. Just kind of hold it for a minute. So I know that it holds. Let's get the crease good. Okay. Alrighty. Now I have the crease done and I'm going to let it dry for a second and work on a different piece while I'm letting this dry. And then we'll glue the back flap into the mailbox. Alrighty. Let's glue the post together. Again, I reinforce this, the score lines because I want it to form a square. And let's apply some glue here. Let that dry. So we have those two pieces done. Now let's make the front part of the mailbox, the little door. Fold these. They will be going inward. The flap will go at the bottom. And let's glue a contrasting piece of cardstock that, that makes our heart stand out. Way too much glue, but that's me. It's just the way I do things. Okay. Now add the outer color. And you could obviously choose whatever colors you want. I made a couple of blue ones to send to my cousins. I don't know if they're second cousins, they're children of my cousin. So I don't know the official term for children of my cousin. Their second cousin, cousins once removed, I don't know. I should look it up. All right, now there are two strips for decorating the mailbox. One is slightly larger, just slightly larger than the other one. And I kind of rounded the edges to make it a little easier to see. So, and the same thing, just like we curved the mailbox body, let's curve this. It just makes it easier to glue in place. And I also found that it looks better if when I glue it on, I cover up this seam so i want it to just barely cover that seam it makes it much neater i think i did a better job on the boys mailbox see on that mailbox see the side if you cover up the seam it just looks neater okay so i hope my glue will be good there i go over exuberant Again, this is where I get the most glue on my fingers when I'm doing this particular step. Let me set it down and get some of the glue off. All right, so I'm going to line it up here. I'm going to line it up here. And work my way around. Really, this is the only hard step, the only slightly hard step. It's a little harder to do when you're trying to do it on camera. Okay, I think that's it. So that's the front flap of the mailbox. And I've got a dry piece here. Here is a dry piece. Okay. So now let's make the base. And you don't, uh, the pattern I think only has one of these. I use three, but two works as well. So you can cut out, if you just use two, I think you can cut all of them out with a one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and you can use either 65 pound cardstock or 110 pound cardstock as always i say 110 sturdier but 65 pound cardstock works as well and actually makes this arch easier so 
and the square at the bottom of the base makes it so much easier to glue. And I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, and I've got to dry one of these. Let's dry. Okay, now let's glue this flap inside. And I kind of experimented the easiest way to do it, make sure it fits inside, is to just run a bead of glue around the edge and then just push it inside. And I try to hold it for just a minute to get the glue to dry. And now that that's, it's pretty dry, let's add the decorative strip on the edge. And just like we did with the, the door, the flap, let's curve it a little bit. And just hold that in place. The opening's not straight. I just need to bend it a little more. Okay. Now we've got that going. So, keep getting glue balls on it. All right, now for the door, all you do is apply glue here because the flap is going underneath, so it goes like this. Make sure it goes on. Okay, hold that down. Make sure it's straight. Sometimes it shifts a little. Let that dry. I meant to put the base in before I glued the flap on. It's a little easier to put the base in first but we can do it this way. So the glue goes on the underside of these pieces. So, because the flaps are gonna lay down. So I always fold them in and kind of insert it into your little mailbox. I think you can see how it goes. Now lay the flaps down. I'm gonna re-glue that on. Lay the flaps down. Let it dry, maybe. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this, put this piece on. This is the cover piece, so you don't have a hole in your in your mailbox. So in case like kids want to put um, some candy in there or little treat, little surprise, put their mail in there. You don't want it to fall in the hole in this hole, and that helped hold the flaps down too. So that's better. Now I'm gonna glue the flap back on. So the order should be construct the mailbox, put the post in, then glue the end flap on the door to the mailbox. Let that dry. And while that's holding, let's make the flags. So three pieces, contrasting color in the middle. I like the mailbox, the um, flag to be a different color from the mailbox itself. So it'll show up better. Let that dry. 
I have a dry one here. Yes. Okay, let's see how our flag is doing. Our, our... Okay, that looks okay. Looks straight. All right, so I'm gonna try this little one. The little ones are just a tiny bit harder to do, only because you have to separate the two legs of the brad. Okay, so we'll put, it fits. Either one of these fits through these little holes. Alrighty, put it in here. Then open up the brad. Somehow. There, you can see the brad opened up. Okay, let's close it. Oh, of course I put the flag on wrong. All right, there, you see the flag. I think it's on right. Okay, let's close the mailbox. All right, last thing, glue it to the base. So this is the easy part. I just kind of fill that with glue, just kind of fill it with some glue. Put the base in place, let it dry, and you've finished your little mailbox. That's all there is to it. Now let's make an envelope a little letter so because i don't really care if these open Oops, gosh. i just glue them shut you could make a little envelope but it's kind of hard because it's so teeny so that was too much glue hold that down and here's a little heart it's in the pattern, but it's also the center of the flag. Glue down the heart. Now, if you want, you can write an address, and I just do a scribble. I just, actually, I can. Lucy, do 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 That's the way I, I'm doing my letters. All right, so I did do a pattern for a stamp. Let me show you that. These are the stamps and they're very tiny. So if you want to draw something on this stamp or if you want it to be a different color or you want to draw an outline, do it while it's still on your mat because they're so tiny, it's hard to hold it to color it. And then, you know, get a weeding tool or something to pull your stamp off your mat. And then glue it to your little envelope. And then I'm not gonna put it in that one because that one is, um, let's put our mail in the mailbox, in the little paper mailbox. So that's how you make it. Like I said, I used a Cricut to cut all this out, but you could use other cutting machines or you can cut it by hand. But if you're gonna do hearts, I'd get a little heart punch. They're very inexpensive. Um, and that's a much easier way to cut out a heart. So anyway, I hope you will look this up on my blog, Paper Glitter Glue. It's in the January 2022, had to figure out what year it is. It's in the January 2022 section of the library, the little paper mailbox. Alrighty, it's fun craft, kids will love it, and I think you'll have fun making it. Okay, y'all take care, bye.